For the fourth and final day at Club 72 in Chenggu and in Chun, we say good afternoon and welcome to the Mediheal Hangugul Bow Championship. Today, one billion won will be divvied up amongst our field. 120 began the event, 62 made the cut, and quite frankly, only one is in contention to win this thing. Pak Jiang, the inaugural winner back in 2022, on hold number nine has a four stroke advantage over her groupmates Chung Yun Ji and a fifth stroke on Cho Ayan, who are even and one under par, respectively. Some other names we are watching closely on Sun Ju and Kim Ji Su, both at four under par. Iga Young is hanging on to a tied for sixth position at plus one. Pak Dan Yu and Lee Jae Young both at three under. Kim So Yi and Sung Ga Eun, respectively also shooting four under par rounds. It is 20, 30, 23 degrees, excuse me, and partly cloudy with winds at 2.2 meters per second from the west once again, gusting up towards five kilometers per second as we continue to cascade through the leaderboard. So let's head out to course, shall we? Yuni Na, seven under par, 90 meters out on hole number 11, the par four with a pin placement today just off the front of the green and she has curled that in well. She is one over par today, seven under the combined tournament score, tied for 21st position. This is Chung Yun Ji through the first three rounds of the event. A 67, a 66, and a 68. Today, a bogey at the second, a birdie at the fifth. Which means that these par fours have seen the most action for her today. The pin placement, front right. And she's 150 meters from it. She's going to bounce it on the fairway. A little more club, and she would have been rolling even further away. She'll take the option there, pitching wedge or putter. She did have a birdie here yesterday, one of her four on the day, and a bogey free round. Next up, Choi Young in her Sunday red. Birdies at one and three, a bogey at number seven, having her at one under. A drive two meters longer than Chung Yoon Ji, a six iron, her club of choice. more distance carried and you can start to understand why Chung Yun Ji is happy to be on the fringe. A tale of two halves of the round yesterday. Cho Ayun through 11 was six under par. She had three bogeys on the way and all on the par fours. And that leaves Bak Jiang with the longest drive. She remains bogey free for the entire tournament. 19 birdies. She's playing eight iron. And 
she sets the bar as she's done throughout the event with a really nice approach. Lands that basically pin high and rolls before coming to a stop about five meters past the pin and not a ton of elevation changes. Should be a mostly straightforward putt as we go to 10. Hong Jung Min, her third, only 84 meters remaining. She needs to head to the back right of this green. Four yards from the corner, and there's the backspin that brings it into a very makeable birdieing distance. Second week in a row with a four round competition next week. We revert back to just a three round affair from the Gaia Country Club. The next in St. Nine Masters. Cheonu is the defending champion in that event. And two weeks today, we will be crowning our first major champion of the 2024 season at the Chris FNC 46th KLPGA Championship from Lakewood. For Yunina, she cards her first birdie since the opening hole of the competition. And Jung Yunji just a little loft, trying to run it close. Be about five feet between she and her par. Brigade rolls along. AJ on a wonderful round. She did have that little wobble at the last, but more than makes up for it. With her first birdie at the back nine. And for Cho Ayan, the long way back from one corner of the green to the other. Thank you. 
And Pak Young Young, a opening birdie on the back nine after going out even. She has become and is quite comfortably the queen of consistency. Hasn't really challenged for any of the victories so far this season, but this would be her third top ten in just four competitions this season. at the turn, Park ji -young. can reach 20 under par, but it's a little short and it's a little right. So with the par, her advantage is four heading to the back nine. This par five tenth is what will be next for the featured group. Hong Jung Min looking to go to 11 under par and has her birdie. So that is up into sole possession of sixth, her third of the day to two under. Joyon must have this to remain in the lone position occupying the first step of the podium with Kim So Yoon Tu and Mata Som at 13 under and she lips out on the left side so she will be joining them. So it's the same score that she had when she began the afternoon nine holes ago. And even 36, just like Chung Yun Ji. And speaking of Kim So Yun too, ready for her approach on the par five, 76 meters out. And too much club that time. Didn't drop it down until the back fringe and skips into the rough. And Jung Yun Ji finalizes that par. So four strokes between she and Park ji with nine holes remaining. It's an important par to keep. Certainly very close to lipping out. But bogey, par bogey in the final three holes. It's a disappointing way to hit the midway mark of the round. More aggressive approach shots on 10 with the longer pin placement today, certainly compared to yesterday when it was at the front left today back right going 
for a few more birdies than we had seen. Catch up with Idae on playing the 58 degree wedge, the highest lofted club in her bag, and that is expertly struck. She could bump herself up into the top five with that less than one meter putt for birdie. So in two, just a gentle chip. Nearly hold out for her birdie. She'll have a tap in par. Shield chipping from the fringe and holding out for a birdie. And just her second of the round, a three bogey, two birdie performance thus far. Eight under, tied for 17th now. And nearly had it on the perfect line. I will take a second tap. And Yiga Young remains over par. The only player inside of the top 25 to be in the black numbers, Hong Ji Won, Yunina, Jung In Su, and Peng Shin Shiel, the others in the top 30. Eight and a half from Mata Som. But we'll start a little downhill and then need to climb. Brake kicks in early. Won't be enough to impact the score. Still just the one birdie on the day and now nine pars. To stay at T4. Simple tap and finish for E. Dayan. Well, that's 11 under. She shares the mark with Hong Jung Min, Mata Som, Kim So Yun Tu, and Cho Ayan. Tied for third, 13 under. Chung Yun Ji, 15 under. Trailing our leader by four strokes. Also, Certainly worth highlighting. All the way down, tied for 29th, we find Kim Min Ju, who shot over par yesterday, a 73, but is five under through 13 holes. On this championship Sunday, the Sky Course at Club 72. We'll be back to Injun after a short break.
the back nine begins for our featured and final group. And time is slowly starting to run out for Chung Yoon Ji to fight her way back into contention. Two strokes through this part five. She prepares her third. With very calm wind and less than 90 meters to go. Little swing with the wedge. The backspin doesn't really bring the ball closer to the pin, but keeps it on the green. The troubles unfortunately persist for Choyan in a miserable lie in this very, very tall grass. Making matters all the more challenging. Right beside one of the many large, massive stones that dot the course. She rolled down off the fairway, punished for too long of a drive. You see Park Ji Young and Jung Yoon Ji watching and taking a couple steps back just in case this takes a nasty carom. She ducks for cover and might be needing a new wedge before the next St. Nine Masters next week. And unfortunately, although not all that surprisingly, is unable to reach the green. Did the best she could and did improve the lie, though not to the level she would have hoped. Kim So Yoon 2, also from the rough, 95 meters out, 4 meters above the pin, and she, surprisingly, is a touch short of the green. Better for Iga Young, still trying to get back to even. the reaction from the gallery as Choyun couldn't keep it 
as close to the pin as she would have wanted, making this a challenging putt to avoid dropping yet another stroke or two. We'll go to 14 in the interim. Pei So Hyun at 10 under par. And keeps that nice and close. So at long last, Park Ji Young has her turn to play. From this angle, per and she looks down to try and identify the break point. And this time she gets to 20 under. Nobody has put the ball anywhere near the same level as Pak Jiang this week. And could not have asked for a better way to start this back nine. Five clear though, Chung Yoon Ji will have a chance to respond. She has the fifth most strokes gained overall this week from the tee to the green. Did not putt particularly well on Thursday, but since then it has been getting gradually better. And so far today, not including this most recent update, the seventh best strokes gain considering she has played significantly fewer holes than her opposition that she's being averaged against. I can only assume that that number will continue to climb. Back at 11, Kim So Yoon 2 has gone wide right of the pin. So a route to the green full of detours. Choyan trying to save a par, but it's short and it's left. That's a great putt. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> for Yi yeah. Young as we switch the cameras. Her first of the day, tied for sixth, and once again at 11 under par. So Hien, that is now three birdies in the last five holes and four in the last six. And walking that in almost instantaneously.
So a few holes closer to the finish line. And the third playing of the Betty Heel Hung Google Bow Championship. And Park Ji Young has a five stroke cushion with only eight to play. 11 is next. It is the first of five par fours, of course, on this back nine. Thanks for a scenic walk around the canyon. And a fairly short 330 meter par four. In fact, it is the third shortest of all of these on course, though the uphill nature of the drive will make it play a little bit longer. And the green today, six yards off the front edge and perfectly in the center. You can draw a parallel line from the end of where that fairway, excuse me, that bunker juts out. That's the depth. Find the center point from there. There's your pin. First drive goes off into the rough, but rolls down the hill before returning to the fairway. So for something that could offer Choi on some confidence, she's birdied this hole twice. And lose the ball on the other side of the stone. If she's not in the rough, she's certainly close to it. Or changes the, that initial offering. Chung and Sue to save a par. And unfortunately, overhit, and that will cost her a stroke.
is disappointing for her, especially considering she had just birdied to move to one over for the day. That drops her to seven under and outside of the top 20. On 12, Hong Jung Min records her par. And she stays comfortably inside of the top 10 with that make. So back in the fairway at 11, Choyan did just avoid the hillside rough. Bounces twice in the fringe, and that is where it stays. And only 67 meters for Chung Yun Ji, who goes to pin high. About six meters or so to the left of the pin. And at 67 meters, Pak Jiang once again closest to the pin. She'll roll back, though, to the fringe. <laughs> the lead is five. The putts will come on the 11th green. Kim Soyun 2, 1 under on 12, 7 back 
It is truly feeling like a runaway with the most important races happening outside the lead as Puck Jiang is dialed in and can afford to coast a little bit and pick up some pars and just continue to knock down the holes one by one. More from Club 72, the Sky Course, which is admittedly a little overcast today when we return. And welcome back to Club 72 on Yeongjong Island, just west of the city of Incheon. 
known as the gateway to Seoul, and for many, it's the gateway to the nation with the international airport that we've seen and heard so much of this week, bringing in countless tourists and, of course, many occasions, flying some of the best golfers in the world to compete on the KLPGA Tour. We have a few returnees this week from pastures abroad. We also have some familiar faces who are regulars on this tour making a splash. Kim So Yoon too nearly had her first birdie since the early stages of this fourth and final round. It is one in which Park Ji Young is in cruise control. And she comes just inches shy of 21 under par. finish. We head back to 10. Back to 11, excuse me. This final round flying by Chung Yoon Ji for a birdie as Buck Ji Young let one slip but unable to close the gap. Slightly pulled to the inside of the hole. A tap in par. So the scorecards and the scoreboard at the top remain unchanged. Oh. And for Choyan, it is a short and simple par. Three bogeys, though, since number seven have her starting to fade further from the top three spots. Of course, the round and the tournament for her in terms of her quest for the top really took a turn for the worst at number 14 yesterday. Since that point, six bogeys and only two birdies. That undoes the six bogeys she had previously in the third round. But even without them, it'd be really difficult to keep pace with Park Ji Young. And we've reached the par 3 12th. Averaging 14.76 yards away from the hole after the tee shot. Another pin placement today that challenges the length. You know, she's a long hitter, but the fact that she can play iron helps her out in a big way. It's a question to really consider this week. Do you mix in a four or five in the bag and take out the hybrid? Yeah, it is definitely a scorcher today. 23 degrees under the sun in Incheon.
A birdie here on Friday for Chung Yoon Ji. Pars on Thursday and yesterday's third round. On top of that, she's able to work it significantly closer to her nearest rival. Last but not least, Cho Ayan, but unfortunately, the relative lack of power and the headwind lead to her being short of the green. down from the hillside rough on the left of the cart path into the fairway. And as we near the top of the clock in hour number two, not much has changed at the top. Puck Jiang still comfortably ahead from Chung Yoon Ji. Kim So Yoon Two up into third as Cho Ayun drops into a tie for fourth with Mata Som. Of a couple four under rounds from An Sun Ju and E. J. Young on holes 17 and 16, respectively. We'll come back with more, including the par 3 12th, after a short break.
Our number two begins around the perimeter of the 12th green here at Club 72. Choi on just looking for some consistent par golf. It would likely be a little too little too late, however. She could still be on for a really nice result. Things certainly have to change. Kim Zo Yu too able to swap out the wedge for the putter. She is right up there near the top. And sole possession of third, though she does trail Pak Ji Young by seven strokes. And inching it to, call it a meter and change short of the pin. She is in pursuit her first victory since the KB Financial Group Star Championship in September of last season. Mata Salman, an interesting lie in the rough and some thick rough at that. Just to lay up into the fairway. Chung Yun Ji unable to progress any further. Locked in at that 15 under score, still even for the day. Her highest round of the tournament came yesterday with a 4 under 68. All that to say, she's played some great golf, just not the greatest. Considering who she's paired up with today, once again. So Yu and Nina, the most recent impressive approach shot. Of course, it was her 63 that had her in a share of the lead with Kim So Yoon too at the end of Thursday's competition. She is also even for the round. And Choi An navigates that putt well, right to left, slightly downhill. She's digging her heels in a little bit with some pressure coming from Mata Som. And finds herself playing her third on number 13, only 31 meters out after a detour into the downhill rough. Plays that to about five feet and we'll have that short distance remaining for par just as Pak Ji Young has one hole prior. Three holes down, six to play and still leading by five strokes. Interestingly for her, only three of her 20 birdies in the tournament have come on par three. She'll have one more crack at one at 16. And you now birdies for the second time on the back nine, the third time today. So that moves her under par for this championship Sunday tied for 17th with Pak Dan Yu. And here's Iga Young back to even with her birdie at the last 8.3 meters. And how about another one? Yeah. 
up to T4 now. That is two, rather, excuse me, in the last three. Not back-to-back, -back, but our putter starting to come alive as she charges up towards the podium. So to try and keep Igayun, Choyun, and Mate Som from catching up, Kim Soyun too. Would have increased the gap with the birdie there, but it is with a bit too much pace relative to what she needed. So no 14 under for her in this first stretch of three par fours in a row. They start with the longest, 370. Yesterday, Buck Jiang, despite taking a little bit less club off the tee, had rolled down through the fairway into the rough. That's how big of a swing she played. So I believe that was five wood, and it is the more conservative approach. She has that luxury now. Oh. 20 under will be really hard for Chung Yun Ji to catch in six holes. And the player teeing off now, you'd think, needs at least two more birdies, likely three. And Park ji to do something she has not done all week, which is bogey. It's a strong showing with the driver. And now Kim so yun too to finalize what she'll hope is a par. And is a par. Choi on the last to drive. And it is a perfect 3 for 3 into the fairway. So we know the situation at the top. How about a check in? And some of the others who have already claimed their first victories of the season. Hung Yumin, of course, the winner last week. Shoots a 69, tied for her best round of the tournament with what she had done on Friday. Finishes tied for 23rd. EA won the winner of the week prior on her 18th and final hole on pace for her best round of a 68, just outside the top 10, tied for 12th. And then that leaves Kim Jae-hee tied for 25th of five spots with a 70 today. Each of those players will add some more We Made points to their total. All hoping to finish in the top 60 and qualify for the season finale tournament once the official events are done and dusted. Park Young Young with that consistent play. We mentioned that she's on for her third top 10 finish. Moved up 12 spots into fifth. EA1 dropping two. Peng Shin Shiel unmoved in third. Kim Chae Hee swapped out with Hung Yu Min after her win last week at Teddy Valley.
the most notable change in the weather from yesterday is the wind. It did pick up there for a bit up towards those stronger gusts at five meters per second, but starting to settle down slightly now back to two. However, it is the hottest it has been, 25 degrees. Choi on with the shortest drive and the first to arrive on the green. Very close to being exactly in the center. and 21 meters and significantly downhill. But equidistant, if not slightly closer than Sho Ayun, just a little bit more shallow. Landing and staying one stride or two onto the green. the drop for Chung Yun Ji and she goes closest to the pin. A very makeable birdie. Nothing else she has to hurry up and get some birdies just to put some pressure on Bok Ji Young so she's not simply coasting to another win. The reality for Chung Yun Ji is that she has not birdied since hole number five. That was after relinquishing, relinquishing, excuse me, a stroke on the par four second hole. The gap remains five, though a chance to shrink it with a putt for birdie coming up next when we return to the Medi Heal Han Google Bow Championship.
And we welcome you back to 22 p.m. local time at Club 72. Jung Yoon Ji patiently awaits the offering from Park Ji Young. Well, there is just absolutely no keeping pace with Bak Ji Young. Her 21st birdie of the tournament. That is now four under through 14. Two more birdies on the way in. It would be 67, 66, 66, 66 to the title. And that has to be an absolutely deflating one for. Chung Yoon Ji, who thought this was it, this was the moment she was going to get her birdie and put a little bit more pressure on, but alas, not the case. I think she's been in that frame of mind for a little bit yet, but truly now. Focus on our own game and going on to take care of business and secure that runner up position. It'd still be quite obviously a big money payday for her which would take her up the leaderboard with a good haul of points as well. A right to left putt, and she does have that birdie. Been in hot pursuit of it since hole number five. She gets it on the fourth hole of the back nine to go to 16 under. Rolling right along to 14, only 346 meters. And a rare miss, gesturing right. We hear it land, we hear the reaction from the gallery. And she's going to be <laughs> 70 or 80 meters shy. That one for an absolute ride.
beautiful approach to put it mildly. Might be underselling it. Haven't seen much from Hong Jung Min the past few holes. Still two under for the day with a chance to move into a tie for fourth position if she can convert on that birdie. to the WeMix Championship. We know the top five. Chan Ye Sung, E. J. Young, Pak Hae Joon, Che Min Gyeong, and Kim Min Sun seven occupy spots six through ten. No Sungi, Kang Ji Sun, Pak Ju Young, Pang Min Ji, and Kim Woo Jung eleven through fifteen. At the moment, Pak Ji Young at 28th. That will change drastically based on this inevitable result forthcoming. Chung Yun Ji playing her second shot in towards the back left portion of the screen, precisely where she wanted to be. Nothing more than a half swing with such a short approach shot after a fortuitous bounce and roll. Wow is right. <laughs> the commentary from the gallery. I can't top that. Even when she misses, she finds a way to not just recover, but play herself into maybe three meters on the long end of the scale. Coming very close to the question, just how high will she finish? Buck Jiang in nice and close at another chance for a birdie.
Back to the course in 15, Kim So Yoon 2. Playing a perfect approach shot. Two and a half meters at the most inside the shadow of the flag. Shots just keep falling. And Ziga Young, the most recent, one upping Kim So Yoon's effort a few moments ago. And Jung Yoon Ji. Hangs it off the right side. Still go two for three in this group if Cho Ayun can muster in this birdie opportunity. If that doesn't sum up how the day has gone. past you know, 27 holes have gone unfortunately Why not 22 under? No one at this point would bet against her. A little left to right. This is going to drop towards the center and drop in the hole. And we can't crown her just yet, but that is back to back birdies. And she is absolutely storming well beyond what is attainable by any stretch. Kim So Yoon 2. That's a nice birdie. A pump of the fist as she finally gets back. She had it on the 4th gets her most recent on the fourth last hole and gets a little bit of separation from Mia Ga Young and Matt Som and Choi Yun watches it go from bad to worst. He's trying to put on a brave face and smile through it, but that is now four bogeys on the day after it started so promisingly. Two in the first three, and you thought she might be able to at least push for a runner-up, but it is going in the exact opposite direction. Has really struggled with this back half of the golf course. So 
So she drops to T6. And it is a seven way tie. Jung Yin Ji for her par just guides that one in. Ziga Young, who birdies and is nine strokes back in fourth position. She's in a battle with herself, and the podium certainly not beyond the realm of possibility as she goes to 13 under par with her third birdie of the back nine. Yunina on the second to last hole with an opportunity to reach 10 under par. And just hangs on long enough. Showing flashes of round number one with a great back nine. One hole to play in her competition. 10 under par, that is tied for 13th. 11 could be tied for fifth. The waning stages now of Championship Sunday for the Mediheel Han Google Bow Championship. Drives at 15 have been played. The approach shots are next. 123 meters out. Chung Yun Ji will go first. It's to stay well right of this green. Trying to sneak up against its edge and flies it in well. Similar distance to the putt she needed to play 
on 14. Joyan also up well. It's been the putter that has let her down the most in the second half of the tournament. And Pak Jiang with her 48 degree wedge, 100 meters on the nose.
We continue to get closer and closer to the finish line. Chung Yoon Ji doing her very best and doing it successfully to pull away from the rest of the field. She is not going to win this competition. That much is assumed at this point, but a dominant performance to be P2 out of 120. Get back to our featured group in a moment. In the meantime, a detour to 16. 150 meter par three, Yi Ga Young on the fringe for a moment before slipping back onto the green. Choi on this for a score of 12 under par, heading in the final three. Needs the break, starts two, and that will feel absolutely terrific. And the slide is over. Her first birdie since hole number three. And 12 under. Gives her out right fifth. Kim Soyun two has decided on the six iron. Playing this tee shot down the hill over the sand trap. At least that's the ideal line because Kim Soyun two is nowhere near the pin. In fact, she might not stay on the green. With another go at it, she might favor the seven iron instead, but hindsight of is 2020 as always. And she just can't quite make it three from three. She was ready to walk that one in and celebrate. is three holes away from returning to the top step on the KLPGA Tour in the face says it all. She is always one of the more entertaining and animated pros that we have the pleasure of covering. You never have to wonder what she's thinking. She'd be a terrible poker player. Last to tee off on 16, Mata Som. And she is somewhere in between Kim Soyun 2 and Iga Young, who has the best tee shot on the final par 3 of the event.
And uh, so I'm the long way back. It started to straighten out some four meters before the hole, but runs out of speed. Buddy system. Soon to be 12 victories between them in their respective careers. Joyan at 23 years of age. No wins in 2023 either. The drought, if we can call it that, takes us back to 2022. The end of the month in July, the Hoban Seoul Shinmun Women's Classic. Also that year, took home the honors at the 8th Kyochan Honey Ladies Open. Uh, Lee Ga-young just a little wide to start it. Would have brought her up onto the podium. At least for the time being, though. There's not a whole lot of time left to change that fact. Yunina at the last 132 meters from the fairway, pretty much in the center of the 18th green today. A hop, a skip, and a curl around to only about four meters. Kim So Yoon too. She has so much potential in this incredibly young career. A two time winner on the Dream Tour in 2022. Tied for 12th last year at the Major Championship, the Haita General Championship. But as a full fledged professional, she is nearing in on a career best of her own. Just too much break for her this time. Hardly removed from her 21st birthday in November of last season. Tied for 47th last week, I don't think in her wildest dreams, she would have seen this coming. The first time in the top 10 this season for Iga Young, assuming the round doesn't go off the rails. Twice a runner up last season and a third place finish as well. And this one has gone by the wayside. The one win in her career to this point, playing Stableford Golf at the 2022 Tongbu Construction Corps Championship in October of 2022. Had eight top 10 finishes that season. Eclipsed that mark in the previous campaign. 
I tried to, so we came up shy of it. Only five, but on for the first this year. And it's another long season, just at the very beginning. Some has her par. In her rookie campaign, she trailed only Kochiu and EA1. So Ian too would finish as the seventh best rookie last season. In the money in 16 of her 29 events. Lengthy delay. And the green light finally turned on for Chung Yun Ji and her five iron. Three quarter swing, and it disappears on the short side of the fringe, and that is almost. Certainly going to head all the way to the other one. A couple feet off at the back. Quite the carom. Obviously oh, tough oh, with oh, those oh. mid-irons to plan for any backspin. Let's go back to 18. Yunina. She was ready to celebrate one final birdie. Opportunity to move into a share of sixth position. Choyan just off of her birdie playing six iron. And she narrowly evades the bunker as well and will be joining Chung Yun Ji in a nearly identical spot. Swell of patrons grows larger as we get closer to the end. Back to the last to play. She's going to go to the left side of the green and actually will probably be happy that this rolls off. Not too difficult a lie in the rough there and gives you the option to play a bump and run or a pitch. And group 21 is marching down to the 16th green.
Comes out about 30 minutes before it's made official. Park Jiang, assuming this competition is to stay at Club 72, is now trying to create a untouchable record. Bogey free, 22 under par, but off and into the rough on the par three. We'll see how she navigates it when we return to the Sky Course at Club 72 in this final round Sunday at the Mediheel Han Google Bow Championship. So as the groups in front continue to get ever closer to the grand finale, we see something that we haven't seen a whole lot of over the weekend and quite frankly over the tournament. It's a little challenge for Pak Jung just to keep things interesting. And she's gonna need a bit more speed than this. Short changes it a little bit, and we'll have, let's call it five and a half meters for a par. One of the many facets of her game that has been oh so good for greens and regulation. That is the first miss for her in the final round. The entire tournament, her approach game, at 87%. 
13 of 16 on the par fives. 36 of 39 on the par fours. That's 92 and a third. That was the first par three she missed all tournament long. This goes to show the level at which she is operating. To 17 and the hybrid in hand for Kim So Yoon, two. A buck 60. Now this is looking left. Or Caddy's gesturing. Is this going to be wet? Caddy puts her hand on his hat. We don't see the ball. She will hope for her sake she's in the sand. I wonder if she'll take a provisional. That looked well and truly. Like a hook into the water. So we'll try and get an update for you shortly. Let's return to 16 in the interim. A first putt for Choi on. Starting this left, and there's the hill to bring it back online. That is a really good putt. She just needed that one birdie to get a bit of confidence back. She and Matt Tessom throw An Sung Yi into the mix as well as the players in the top 20 to be at one over. Really tough day for Chung and Su, who is on 18 now and is looking at a 75. 76 for Kim Arim and the high rounds that are Ichae and Tu, Hong Jung Mi, also at those scores. Chung Yoon Ji follows short, nice and close, so we should have two pars from those two competitors. It is a lot less certain for Pak Jiang, who will be next. Doing a quick scout from the reverse angle. And we go to 18. Peng Shin Shiel at plus nine. Really long look at Birdie that is just going to be a modicum short in terms of her speed. A little bit right as well. Would have taken her. A score of 278. A par ensures it's 279 and a tie for 16th position. It would be a tournament first if she misses this putt. Wouldn't put a par past her. It's quick, and it's just offline. Remarkable to think that it took 69 holes, but for the first time, it will be a bogey for Buck Jiang. The lead will descend to four, assuming that each of Chung Yun Ji's and her next putts are converted. No certainty for Chung Yun Ji either. This looks as though she's lining it up about a foot to the left of the hole. Break should come pretty quick. And downhill a little short, and she just got the read all wrong. It's going to be a bogey for her as well. That will drop her to 16 under par. So the lead will, in fact, remain at five strokes. Only her second of the day and her first in hole number two.
Cho Yun has her par and will have the honor on the 17th tee. Well, she is human after all. And you just wonder if that seven or eight minute wait. If she just took a seat on the grass of the teeing ground. It was enough to disrupt the flow that she has been operating in. On to 18, a downhill <coughs> butt for Ida Young. That started to the outside and never came back. Would have been nice for her to get back to a 72 score after a triple bogey at 15. She will settle for eight under par. That is 280 strokes throughout this Mediheel and Google Bug Championship. That brings us to the penultimate hole. We mentioned the fact yesterday. But it's worth repeating. First two rounds here in this winding dog leg right, played 351 meters. We rose to the back tees for the third and fourth round. So it plays at 385 meters, 421 yards as a par four. And after the tee shots into the fairway, you can see where Kim So Yoon too got into some trouble. That is pretty nasty stuff if you are going to hook or play too tight a line towards that left side bunker. The pin today is officially 14 yards off the front of the green and nine yards from the left fringe. Pretty much a straight line from the edge of that first sand trap. hearing that Kim so Yun too did send her second shot into the penalty area and that could put her podium in jeopardy. Hey, Joy on with a textbook swing. Good drive to start off in the seventeenth. Didn't get much better for Kim so Yoon too with her do-over attempt. So that was shot number four. And still along the tree line. That's the makings of a very high score for her, unfortunately. We'll keep a close eye on that. just trying to fade it down the hill and back into the fairway. We haven't seen many play that brave. It's deceptively long when you do try to take a bit of a shortcut there. added yardage 
Another hole playing very difficult. 4.13 strokes, the average seven birdies today. It's one better than yesterday. We only had six by the end of the day. A little bit more of an accessible pin placement. Seven yards shallower in this fourth and final round. But Jian goes into the fairway. The gallery begins to walk down. And we will head to the greenside bunker. Kim so Yun too finally able to get up onto the green. So she'll be putting for double bogey. Bogey at 16 as well. Park Young Young quietly going about her business, tied for 12th, one under. On to the 18th hole. Birdie to secure the top 10 finish. She is 88 meters at the very end of the fairway. She is going to get a nice little assist from the wind. Perfectly weighted approach shot. that wedge fine-tuned back to 17. Three point two meters uphill and grazes the inside. It will be a triple. So that is four strokes relinquished after 15 holes without a single misstep. And that's down to 10 under par and out of the top 10. In fact, that's time for 11th now, so she could still have the par or birdie have a career best. Stiga Young, meanwhile, a much less eventful 17th hole as she puts up and also narrowly misses to the inside. So I'm trying to avoid dropping to two over in this final round. 70 had been her highest. I came back on Friday and she goes almost 360 degrees and right back out. Frustration painted across her face as she lets another one slip. That is her third bogey of the back nine now after going out with a 35. <laughs> and for Iga Young, it is back to back bogeys for her as well. This is really just illustrating how dramatic these final few holes can play if. You know, the gap to the leader wasn't five strokes. There is that detail.
enjoy untaking her free relief from one of the many divots in the fairway to ground screw here at Sky 72. We'll have their work cut out for them. The weather has been much better than it was forecasted to be. A lot more of the sun, nice high temps. course designed after the you know, rocky landscape of Arizona. Some holes paying homage to the Grand Canyon. We've thoroughly enjoyed our time here. Change of venue from Peyram where this tournament had traditionally been played. And Joyon with her hybrid will settle in the rough. up is Jung Yoon Ji, only 142 meters to go, but not sure if she topped it a little bit in the rough, but that was struck well below the standard she has set. And in turn, it means it's a wide open green for Bak Ji Young to go out and attack. 138 for her 7 iron. And that's how it's done. Reminder why she is so comfortably ahead. Shots like that. Able to quickly drop the bogey from memory and get right back to work. She's about 25 minutes away from officially being named our champion. And we'll don the jacket that was draped over her shoulders two seasons ago. The only thing left is what will the score show in the history books? It's been an absolute clinic from day one. And there was no easing into the tournament. Five under in the first round. But it trailed. Union and company by four strokes, but 66 yesterday. 66 on Friday. Oh. Right, 68 unless there's another birdie. Buck Young Young, speaking of birdies. Back to back to end the day. Five of them in the round, two bogeys, and a three under par finish. And that takes her into a share of third. Another brilliant week for her. Add that to her list of top 10 finishes in the season. T8 in Singapore to start the season. Tied for 23rd after a disappointing 75 in the final round in Phuket in Thailand. Tied for third last week and tied for third once again here. She always seems to find a way to start the seasons well. Pacing out the distance remaining. Some work to do, no doubt.
first shot from around the green. A 19 meter pitch. Carries around 10, rolls ever closer. And just about hold out for a birdie. Now Park ji trying to return to her 22 oh. underscore, but just left a little bit off of that putt. Oh. 71 holes down, one to go. Five percent of her career wins at this very tournament. Something in the backswing, a noise, someone moving in the background. Knocked her out of the rhythm, so through the full process again. up and down for a par. We've reached the finale. The 72nd and final hole, 530 meters. Over the pond to get things started, clearing the bunker as well, and into this wide and welcoming fairway. Our first reference point, 240 meters or so on average. The opening drive. 
breakfast short of that sand trap to the left from there. A fairway wood to roll as far down towards the end of this fairway as is possible. That's 90 meters from the end of the fairway to the pin today. We know that because that's what Park Young Young was able to do prior to her birdie. And then the final walk in, dropping it between five sand traps and officially today. 19 yards off the front and 10 yards from the right side. It is certainly a pin you can attack. Similar to the placement from round two when it was 14 yards on and nine yards in. Featured group is getting the hole underway. Montez Soam is ready to deliver this to the green. 141 meters shy of it. And skipping on up and just past. With a little bit of a tailwind. She gets a helpful push. Plays in one of her shots, best shots, that is. the back nine. Jung Yun Ji goes next, but she disappears in the middle of the rough. Get a be better lay of the land in a few minutes here. In the meantime, Kim So Yoon too. Heartbreaking triple bogey for her at the last. But avoids the trouble zones here on 18. The wind shifted from a tailwind to a solid cross. And that will leave her with about eight meters or so for the putt for birdie. right down the middle a low lofted drive and she will savor every step of this 530 meter walk when she won the tournament for the first time the first time it was held she was able to do so with a score of 18 under par three better now a chance to make it four when all is said and done now, mind you, of course, you're not comparing apples to apples. It was at Peyron before. It's a 12 under four round total for Iju Mi when she won last season. The purse. And therefore the champion's take home value of 180 million won has not changed since 2022. It's around 180,000 Canadian dollars. It's the conversion I need from my studio in Toronto. 130 US. 122 Euro. Regardless, it would be a nice one to see wired into her bank account. Iga Young looking to close out the round with a highlight reel putt and just and only just did that Callaway ball 
slip past the outside. So she'll settle for par, an even 72 in the final round. Three bogeys, three birdies, tied for fifth at 11 under. She shares that mark with No Sungi, Lee Jae-young, Kim Ji-soo, Pei so hyun and EA-1. We'll go through the full leaderboard a little bit later, but some brilliant final round Sundays in that mix, to say the least. Kim so Yoon too, can defeat the averages. She can join them at that score. Two putts would be a 74 for her. It is one of the many things that makes this sport so challenging and what causes the obsession to master every part of the game. 63 to open the tournament and it just slipped through her fingers. The chance to end on a high note. Left to right, the break has the speed, it looks good. Oh. A narrow miss, so outside of the top 10 after all. 63, 71, 70, and 74. Four lost strokes at 16 and 17. Of course, that will be a bitter pill to swallow. She let a podium slip. And Choyun, we've already seen her sharing an umbrella, but she's done sharing. She doesn't want to share third with Pak Young Gang. She wants the birdie have it all to herself. The second shot is a good one. All leading to the setup approach. Well, Jung Yun Ji had disappeared in the rough because she found the sand trap. She's going to play hybrid to try and get out of it. It's a little short, it's a little left. It's going to make for an interesting approach. Certainly not the precision that she would have been hoping for, but the second is all but wrapped up for her. That does some similar boat to Kim So Yoon too. Could have moved into a share of the top five. Tricky pot showing that if you could design an ideal world other than Eagle, of course, probably want to be a little bit short of the pin today. Over Mantas home, a 39 with three bogeys on the way out, one birdie on the way in. She shoots a 74 in the final round. And just a simple iron for Pak Jung. 285, a little draw. And she can chase after Cho Ayan. The gallery, the fantastic number of people who made their way out to Chung Island this week. Treated to an absolute display of excellence in the fourth round of the season. And an even larger number of patrons following the featured group. It is, of course, a huge weekend for the sport. Across the Pacific and the state of Georgia, of course, Arguably the most famous tournament this sport has to offer. The Masters will conclude 
tomorrow will be a Monday morning start for the players here, should they l wish to turn it on. Scotty Scheffler with a one-stroke lead over Colin Morikawa and Max Holma in third. Albert the Swede in fourth there, and Bryson DeChambeau, who had a bit of a blow-up today, 75. But it is a global game, a sport that transcends boundaries, of course. It was even more special a couple of years ago for this nation in particular. say if you could pick which side to be on, you'd probably be short. Chung Inji really didn't have a opportunity to do much more after finding the sand. Seven meters for Buck Ji Young. Slightly below her feet in her stance. She goes a little long. In fact, she goes quite a bit long. Two putts, three putts, five putts. It won't change what has become an inevitability. shot of the day. And just about pin high. A lot of what ifs and what could have beens for Cho Ayun if she didn't have a rather long mental lapse around the back nine yesterday. And as soon as she got that birdie today, it's like she found her groove once again. On for a fantastic finish. The gallery will fence in the featured group as they reach the green, and the final round featured group announcements. Be the next sounds you hear. tradition not just reserved for the final group which is often hosting the 
players either dueling it out for the win or knowing that they're in for a fantastic result, but every single member of the fourth or third round field, which we will rediscover next week when we play the next in St. Nine Masters. Appropriately timed tournament, if you ask me. She's ranked number 70 in the worlds. And her last win, certainly argue the biggest one of her career. The world rankings certainly would agree with that assessment. She will move up to 41st. And why not have one more? It's poetic, it's masterful, and it's only fitting of the champion once again of the Mediheel Hang Google Bow Championship, Park Ji Young. A breathtaking birdie to finish 22 under par. Her 23rd birdie of the week, just one bogey through 72 holes. And that's something special. couldn't help but look over with an ear-to-ear -ear grin. They spent a lot of time together these past two days and they were treated to some of the best golf we have seen in a long time. And Chang Yun Ji, let's see if she can match it, have a little final magic of her own. Not quite, though she does roll it within one. A 71 in the final round. Her highest round of the weekend, but... A 16 under par, runner-up finish. That she will absolutely cherish. It's the fourth time in her career that she has come close, but has not been able to ascend to the top. She is still waiting for that second career win. That came back in 2022 at the 10th E1 Charity Open. She's either sharing third place with Park Young Young, or she's snatching it, and keeping it all to herself. Joy on for birdie, and just missing to the inside. Two hundred and seventy sixth and final stroke of the tournament is a par, and it's a podium finish for Choi on 
64, 70, 69, and 73, the tale of her tournament. And now the festivities and celebrations can begin for Pak Ji Young, who is a winner for an eighth time on the KLPGA Tour. There is no escaping it. <laughs> Twenty-eight years of age now. Her first of the season, and her first since she ascended to the top in 2023. We'll see this a few more times before we go off the air. You won't hear many complaints about that either. What a remarkable shot! Not just to make it official, but to put an exclamation mark on a resounding victory. Now, 2023 was a very prolific year for her. Three wins, two P2s, and 10 top 10s. In 2022, the sole win was this tournament to go along with two runner-up finishes and 11 top 10s. 2021 saw her win the 15th S-Oil Championship. In 2019, it was another early season victory. In fact, it happened in December of 2018 that accounts for the 2019 season. That was the Hyo Sung Championship with SBS Golf. So it is officially a six stroke victory, 22 under par to take the win from Chung Yoon Ji, Pak Young Kyung and Cho Ayun on the podium. step aside and let the sights and sounds take us through to the awards presentation. <laughs> Very wet scorecard will be signed. We'll have our championship interview and we'll pick things up in the final round highlights before throwing it down to the 18th green, the red carpet already being rolled out. But for now, let's enjoy the atmosphere of a convincing win for Pak Ji Young a second time at the Medihil Han Google Bow Championship.
기다리면서 여기 다 알아본 거예요 지금 저희 저 뒤에 가야 되는데. 저기 안 나와. 저기 뒤에 어제 공포라서 나오기 힘들어요. 원샷 딱 하나라서. 제가 따로 잡으려고 여기 스탠드 하고 있어요. 아, 네. 네, 안녕하세요. 감사합니다. 네. 어, 네, 되게 10주년 이런 걸 몰랐었는데요. 팬분들 덕분에 또 알게 되었고, 이제 또 10주년이어서 팬분들께서 이제 공식 연습일 날 선수들을 위해서 어, 푸드트럭을 준비해 주셨었는데요. 제가 그걸 우승으로 또 보답한 것 같아서 너무나 어, 제 자신이 잘했다고 칭찬해 주고 싶고 네, 앞으로 더 열심히 하도록 하겠습니다. 어, 네, 사실은 <웃음> 의식했었고요. 그래서 최대한 실수 없이 플레이를 하자라는 <웃음> 생각을 되게 많이 생각하고 플레이를 했는데 아쉽게도 16번 홀에 보기를 하는 바람에 그 기록은 못 달성하게 됐지만 다른 대회에서라도 또 열심히 해서 한번 그 기록을 달성할 수 있도록 해보려고요. 어, 매번 저희 프로님이 말씀하시는 것처럼 노력은 배신하지 않는다라는 말이 정말 맞는 것 같아요. 항상, 어, 정말 노력하면은 언젠가는 꼭될 거라는 생각을 계속 하다 보니까 그게 또몇년 전부터 또잘 풀렸고 그러다 보니까 그게 확신으로 이제 제 마음속에 들면서 정말 노력은 배신하지 않는다라는 말을 되새기면서 항상 열심히 하다 보니까 계속 이렇게 결과가 좋은 결과가 나오는 것 같아요. <웃음> 네, 내일도 네, 내일은 오전에 행사가 있어서 행사하고 오후에 운동하러 가요. 네. 네. 어, 사실 되게 우승하고 싶다라는 간절한 마음이 있어서 그런지 몰라도 되게 나가기 전에 굉장히 많이 떨렸어요. 오랜만에. 오랜만에 너무나 떨려가지고 어, 솔직히 초반에 좀 손감이 많이 떨어져서 계속 거리감이 많이 안 맞더라고요. 근데 같이 오래 호흡 맞춘 캐디 오빠가 이제 계속 웃기게 해주고 또 계속 어, 좋은 얘기 많이 해줘서 또 긴장이 풀리면서 다시 좋은 샷이 나왔던 것 같아요. 어, 올해는 솔직히 어, 좀더 후회 없고 또그 후회 없는 플레이를 하면서 좀더제 자신이 행복한 삶을 살수 있는 네, 그런 한 해가 됐으면 좋겠어요. 네, 감사합니다. 네, 감사합니다. 수고하셨습니다. 
So while we wait for the award ceremony to begin, let's go through the fourth and final round highlights. And why not start at the very beginning? Cho Ayun after T shot just shy of the Medi Heal contribution zone on the power four was able to roll this up to about four meters above the hole. Nice little roll in to get it underway with a birdie. It was a fairly challenging hole. We only saw five birdies all day, I believe on the opener, and she certainly wasn't done there. This would be on the par five third. She'd make it two from three and really be pushing. Because we'll call it a slow start relative to what the final score would be, but Buck Jiang would come alive on number five. Backspin to keep it just a few feet out and would pick up her first of what would end up as six birdies on the day. Up to 18 under she would go. Chung Yun Ji would bounce back from the bogey at two with a bird at five. And unfortunately for her, the reality of the situation was just there wasn't that many birdies as she tried to keep pace with Pak Ji Young who was up by three and she walked this in. The line for us on this side of the camera would almost make you wonder why she was so confident it was going, but she had that down to the millimeter. Brilliant as she goes out, or as she would go out, excuse me, with a 34. 10 would be next, and Park Young Young quietly going about her business, even at the turn. Bogies one and four, birdies two and three, but would start on the front foot with that make at 10. Speaking of birdies at 10, another from Buck Ji Young, putting from the fringe, a crescent shaped swooping left to right effort that would take her to 20 under for the first time in the tournament. 13 is where we head next after consecutive pars from both she and Chung Yoon Ji. The putter remained dialed in that stretch of par fours. At this point, it was just put a little bit of pressure on. You never know what could happen, despite there having been no bogeys for Buck Jung at this point. Jung Yunji would finally get back there since the fifth hole. On to 14 next. This was an insane hole in the sense that she missed the fairway and just rolled right along down the car path, picking up an unbelievable amount of yardage, technically her longest drive of the day, and she would get it to stick within four meters. Were votes, where would she would finish? Would it be 21? Would it be 22? Would it be 23? For the time being, it looked like she was showing no signs of slowing down, but it would not be a perfect round. It would not be a perfect tournament. That's coming up shortly. But first we see the final birdie of the day for Chung Yun Ji. Came with a par four, 15th. About a nine meter effort of her own, her third at that point. 16 would tell a bit of a different story. At least it would color in some context. Choi Yan though, after this make, she was able to settle things down. She had four bogeys between holes three and 15. She'd get to 12 under, which is where she would finish on the way into the 73. But it'd be bogeys back to back on 17, Chung Yun Ji and Park Ji Young. This, however, on 17, oh, as Park Yun Jung made that last little run up to 11 under par, and then to the final on 18, the par five, the incredibly long 530 meter hole to finish it. We knew Buck Jung was going to win. I don't think any of us saw this coming. A perfect representation of the mastery of this tournament, of this course. The longest putt of the day. The second time she wins the Medihil Hangugubo Championship and the eighth title of her career on the KLPGA Tour. We're ready to go on 18. Let's head down to watch the award presentation.
교육자님께서 함께 각병 프로에게 전달해 주시겠습니다. 네, 우승상금 1억 8천만 원. 네, 우승상금이 전달되었습니다. 여러분들 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 축하드립니다. 다음으로는 우승 부상 신상이 있습니다. 우승 부상으로는 클래스 주얼리 세트와 패리슨 테일러 정장 교환권이 제공되는데요. 한국에서 우승자의 교육사님께서 클래스 주얼리 세트를 기사해 주시겠습니다. 네, 너무나도 아름다운 주얼리까지 함께 전달해 드리고 계십니다. 네, 진심으로 축하드립니다. 네, 함께 사랑차렵 진행하도록 하겠습니다. 각평소의 미소가 너무나도 하나도 같습니다. 축하드리고요. 네, 마지막으로 저희 내일 권혁대 대표 이사님께서 해리슨 테일러 정장 교환권을 심사하게 주시겠습니다. 네, 멋진 해리슨 테일러 정장 교환권까지 함께 전달이 되었습니다. 네, 진심으로 축하드립니다. And so ends event number four of the 2024 KLPGA Tour season. And it was probably pretty easy for the tournament organizers to get the size for the jacket because it was just two years ago that Buck Jung had slipped it on for the first time. Yang Eugene also honored as the low amateur with a five under tournament score to finish tied for 32nd, but the week belonged to Buck Jung. The eighth title in her career and an emphatic six-stroke victory, 22 under par when all was said and done. It was a brilliant display of golf from not just her, but the 120 players in the field as always. And it was a great way to carry on these four-round competitions of which we have seen two in a row. The players and the viewers alike will get an extra day off next week as we head south to Kim Hei, the hometown of Che Hei Jin, amongst many others, as the 11th Nexon St. Nine Masters gets underway. Che Yunu, the defending champion at the Kaya Country Club. Bak Ji Young, of course, will be heading in with all kinds of momentum after a dominant performance. We appreciate you having joined us this week. We look forward to welcoming you back on Friday from 2 p.m. local time in Kimhae. It will be the next in St. Nine Masters, but until then, we bid you farewell. On behalf of our entire SBS Golf crew, I've been Adam Jenkins, saying so long from my studio in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and see you soon back on the KLPGA Tour. Have a great week, everybody.